Senate don't pass bill will go increase value added tax for the country. A do APC caucus don't pass vote of confidence for the national chamo of APC, Adams Oshomole. INEC don't present certificate of return to Kogi governor elect Yahaya Bello. Join body where they monitor election don't tell INEC say, make them again look into Bayelsa governorship election will just end. My people, good evening. Say you join us on top as it take happen this evening. My name na Na Douglas. For the first story, we will we'll carry come for now. Senate don't pass one law. We go make sure say country people go begin pay 7.5% value added tax. We go start from next year as against the five percent when Nigerians they pay now. The VAT increase law. Now one of the seven bills where President Muhammadu Buhari sent under the title Finance Bill will don't pass third reading for plenary on Thursday. When they young with Tory people after them pass them, Chamo, Senate Committee on Top Finance, Solomon Olami Lekon, talk say, no be true, say the bill go make Nigerians pay more. Become a very major concern because of the increment that they have sought for, that is from 5 to 7.5 percent. But also included in this finance bill, we now have reliefs for some small companies that is if your revenue as a company is less than 25 million naira you are exempted from payment of VAT and also tax we also went a step further that if you are a company which we have tagged to be a medium company whose revenue is 100 less than 100 million your company income tax has been reduced from 30 to 20 percent not only that, long before now, activities in the capital market has been at the lowest ebb. But with this single action of passing this bill into law, we have activated the capital market. But when they took mat on top of the matter, Senators Enyin Naya Abaribe and Gabriel Suswam question why they go pass the bill, say it no make sense at all. Every person engaged in banking requires to provide a tax identification number. If we sustain this, it will cut up more than half the bankable people in Nigeria. Because if somebody is in the village, how does he get a tax identification number? Because tax identification number, you're talking about those in the urban areas. But we want to expand banking, really. And uh, we want to make sure that everybody comes into some kind of net. So I would think that maybe this should have some time frame within which you ought to have had the tax identification number. Some of the amendments sought here uh, on the tax, on the, to repay some of them and increase it, some of them, no matter how you look at it, Mr. President, this is something that is going to affect all Nigerians. What I would have expected, I don't know whether that is in the offing, that the federal government should also in the same vein try to create some social safety net that we at least ameliorate the pains that people are going to go through. This is a shock. People are not used to this. Then it comes so sudden. We are representative of the people. And so they must see us as trying to protect and speak to on that behalf. No matter how we look at this, eventually it's going to introduce some level of hardship. And on top of that one, Senate President Ahmed Lawan for his own ruling approves say make them read the bill for the third time and make them pass on. And the next story, a do state caucus of the All Progressive Congress for House of Reps don't tell national chairman of the party, Adams Oshomole, say make it carry go because they get confidence for in leadership. Deputy House Leader Peter Patterson will talk this one when he young with Tory people on Thursday inside Abuja, come call Governor Godwin Obaseki and the people where they support him say, make them pack well and make them stop to the intimidate people where they, where they vote to work, plus including people where they think say, now they are political enemies. And then they accuse Governor Obaseki say, if they put fear for people but they will not agree with in government, the caucus can't tell the governor, say, make it issue another order so that they fit inaugurate every member of Edo House of Assembly so that they fit represent their own people. And still on top politics matter, 
Kogi State Governor elect Yaya Bello don't collect a certificate of return from election joint body will be independent National Electoral Commission inside Lokoja, the state capital. Shortly after he collected the quali, Governor Bello will be saying that APC National Chamo Adams Oshomole Escort and Com tell State House correspondent say the win when Bake for last Saturday governorship election, now wide gap it take win. A come back, Kogi people say, made them come together supporting government so that if it deliver the mandate where Kogi indigents give them. By the special grace of God, today in Kogi State, ethnicity has been buried finally. Because this particular election, I won overwhelmingly in all the three senatorial districts of Kogi State. Uh, we have a lot of tasks ahead of us. The journey has just begun. I need the cooperation and understanding of every citizen and resident of Kogi State to join hands with me so that we can move on. Thank you. When it reached time for question and answer, Governor Yaya Bello no entertain any question from State House correspondent after the briefing. And still on this election matter, Joint Body of People with Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, give power to observe election for Bayasa. They don't tell INEC, say, made them choke eyes again for the governorship election which just happened inside the state. The group can't tell INEC, say, made them look at me again to make sure, say, the result of the election, not the original one where Bayasa people cast. Director General of Credible Leadership and Citizens Awareness, Dr. Nwambu Gabriel, Nain Yan, on behalf of the group on Thursday inside Abuja, when they, yearn, when, when they present report of waiting their eyes see for the Bayelsa governorship election to Tory people. He raised concern in sake of the way gay and kilikili will happen for the election, even as he also talks, say, he surprised, say, so far, security people never grab anybody on top of the badness will happen during the election. We call on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to probe results that were accepted collated and announced even when elections never held in some areas. The acceptance of results emanating from areas where snatching of ballot boxes and violent crimes occurred should be proved by the Commission. It is evident that on Wednesday, 13th November 2019, a political party was having a campaign in Nembe local government area. Some bloodthirsty gunmen came to the venue and opened fire without any provocation whatsoever, killing scores of law-abiding Nigerian citizens. Same gunmen prevented the election from holding in Nembe local government area. Till the time of this briefing, there has been no arrests whatsoever no prosecution, this has increased the impunity associated with committed, committing such heinous crimes as perpetrators are largely known and seen moving freely in such communities. One bull like, as it be with a squeeze face on top of the one will be say one uh, transport joint body will be National Union of Road Transport Workers, NURTW, no grid transport election materials to locations where voting will happen. He can call INEC, say, make them sharply put things in place. We will make people mind strong, especially for anything we're concerned election for the country. The user of the members of the National Union of Road Transport Workers in Bayelsa State, who collectively refused to convey INEC sensitive materials to the jetty, where the military were already waiting with their gunboats set to convey these sensitive materials to their respective polling units and polling points. The members of the National Union of Road Transport Workers even threatened that they will not move to anywhere, that anybody can take them to court. We call on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to review the system and mechanism of recruiting the ad hoc staff, especially the collating or collation officers the returning officers and the presiding officers. And for the next story, person where they represent United Nations Secretary General for West Africa and the Sahel, 
Mohamed Ibn Chambas don't call for collabo among Kajak stakeholders to address security problems where they face the Sahel region and Africa. He made the call on Wednesday for one graduation lecture will be saying that the Nigerian Army War College put together for officers who participate for the College Course 3 2019 inside Abuja. Chambers talk say the way we military weapons we then steal from Libya, the Waka enter countries we surround Libya, don't produce bad groups we Oibo they call existing political oppositions, separatist movement, transnational militant groups plus including human trafficking and plenty security wahala. Don't pass, be careful. He can't call all African leaders say make them lead well to make the region stand weller. Sake of say ministers fit kill, say missiles fit kill terrorists. But now good governance, now in the kill terrorism. The large cache of arms which were held in the custody of groups that fought alongside forces loyal to the late Muhammad Gaddafi were reported to have been found or to have found their way into ungoverned spaces in the Libyan desert and subsequently into the Sahel. And this has necessitated a refocusing on measures to address non-traditional threats. For you as graduating participants, and it's indeed the entire armed forces, should focus on in addition to the performance of your traditional duty. For my own part, Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukur Buratai, talks say it go good to do collabo among countries for Lake Chad and Sahel region to help tackle security problem and to deal with bad groups where we say they are work now to kill innocent people. Four major emerging security threats as identified, especially in the West African sub-region. Uh, the issue of uh, drug trafficking and organized uh, crime, the issue of terrorism, uh, and the issue of piracy for these regions, the countries, we cannot solve this insecurity uh, in isolation. We must work together. The special representative of the European Union, as well as the Central Africa, your presence here uh, has brought to fore the importance of collaboration. And for matter we concern jollification. Now, moment of jolly jolly as staff of Wazobia FM, Cordelia Ifani, don't change level. Sake of say, she don't marry her husband, we be say in name na William Ono. Last Saturday will be the 16th of November. Family members, friends, and their well wishers carry Waka enter one popular garden for Garki area of Abuja, venue of the wedding reception. When then the young with Wazobia TV, the wife thank everybody who contributed their time and money to make the day happen for them. TV, Wazobia FM, Cool FM, Nigeria Info, I really do appreciate. I feel honored to be one of you because you guys came fully to support and I'm so grateful and I'm excited and I say thank you to you guys. I'm proud of you. Her husband self, William Ono, no hiding joy on top of the new level where Baba got there. Don't carry them land. Of myself, William, and my beautiful, intelligent, sexy, wow. tall brother. Wow, wow. I'd like to appreciate everyone for coming here today. And we wish them congratulations. Now for the next story, for his sabiness on top radio talk talk work, one radio savvy person with don't pack a plenty award, James Expensive of 99.5 Wazobia FM Abuja, don't get two nominations by people with the organized award program, Radio Television Prestigious Award Nigeria, RTPWN 2019. The nomination category now, Best Male Presenter for the Year and Best Gospel Show for the Year. Also, Wazobia FM and their sister station, Cool FM, get nomination for the best radio station of the year for the level. For one talk paper, we'll be saying a managing director and chief executive officer of RTPWN Limited, Dr. Samuel Wilcox Dulen sign. He talks say the award program now to reward sabiness, creativity, and talents, plus including patriotism to media people we don't show say true true, then sabi within, then they do for the industry. 
but my country people, the Koko be say, I beg, make you vote for expensive as a winner for the each category go win cash prize of 5,000 US dollars. Even as the overall winner go get cash prize of 20,000 US dollars with tear leather SUV moto. To vote, visit www.rtpwn.com or visit their Facebook page on top capital letter RTPWN Awards. And for business news, we they come back, make we drink water. And on top business, Minister of Transportation Rotimi Amechi talks say negotiations for the possible construction of Portacourt Medugri railway line. It don't begin. The minister talk this one for one talk paper will be saying a media person, Israel Ibeleme issue. According by Amechi, both federal government and the Chinese government still they negotiate on top of the project. The minister also yan say federal government will also continue their negotiation with Russia for the Lagos Calabar railway project. It remains sports news, and we come back. <music> and on top sports for as it take happen, ahead of in December second fight with Andy Ruiz Jr., heavyweight boxer Anthony Joshua Toxi, the one we be say he suffer in first defeat for the hand of Andy Ruiz Jr. Now because him Joshua be no get experience, but as he be now, he don't become smart fighter. Meaning, say, he no go day inside water, can't allow soap enter in eyes. Ona go remember, say, Mexican American boxer Ruiz Jr. be make history when he produced one of the biggest boxing news as he dethroned undefeated world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua for the seventh round inside New York Madison Square Garden for June. The WBA, IBF, and WBO heavyweight weight title rematch, where the title clash on the dunes go shelle inside Saudi Arabia for December 7, after the before Olympic champion Joshua say make them do part two of the fight. My people now saw it take happen today, but before we go, make we remind Ona our top story again. Senate don't pass bill where go increase value added tax for the country. A do APC caucus don't pass vote of confidence for the national chairman of APC, Adams Oshomole. INEC don't present certificate of return to governor elect for Kogi State, Yahaya Bello. And last, last, join body where they monitor election don't tell INEC say, make them again look into Bayelsa governorship election we just end. My people, thank you, say you're part of the news. We will come back tomorrow again for another one. My name is Na Douglas. Una good evening.